Welcome. The title of today's video is Giga Semi, Paving the Way to the Future. And you'll see here that I took off and did a flyby with Brian White of Future Aza fame. And um, as inferred in the um, title of this video, taken on June 26, 2025, um, a massive amount of paving has been done in the last three or four days since the last um, flight, drone flight, and um, this factory is starting to look uh, complete and mature. There's, there's the north end that we're looking at right now has had a significant amount of asphalt paving, and the paving continues around the west end, the south and the east are still yet to be paved. Um, I talked, uh, one of our, one of the viewers works at the local asphalt paving company um, that is doing this work and um, mentioned that it's just a huge amount of paving and they're not messing around. You notice that they were able to do that asphalt paving at an angle. Now here is the big friendly door, the BFD and um, used my nine times zoom to try to get a little look in a la Joe Tegmeyer, um, and but didn't see much. And um, when you're at nine times zoom, the smallest movement of the, to jo of the uh, joystick results in a lot of movement on the camera. So it exaggerates and it's hard to make it look smooth. In any event, here we go. Um, the biggest uh, change is the fact that they are in fact paving the way to the future by nearing completion on this um, on the outside of this Giga Semi high volume Tesla Semi factory that will produce 50,000 Tesla Semis a year. So that means once it gets it the full, fully ramped, and if it doesn't improve, you're talking about um, 500,000 Tesla semis on the road after 10 years. And that's if they don't replicate this factory in Texas or uh, in Europe. Taking a nice look around, um, I do apologize. A couple of times, probably I'm gonna have to blame the distraction uh, a couple times, I, uh, as part of my circumnavigation, I didn't actually have the record button on. So that's why we jumped from the north end to the uh, stamping section over here. But luckily, I did get a little bit of the west paving right here. And you can see that that's the west end and the north end. And in the background, you can see that the twin Milan twin building is coming along nicely, too. It pales in size in comparison. The size pales compared to a uh, Giga Semi. You can see that they're putting the insulated material on the uh, lower section of the stamping building, section G. And that little appendage is where, um, just inside that appendage, is where an elevator will bring up scrap from the stamping um, and then uh, use that little appendage. I believe, to uh, recycle the scrap. We are now at the southwest corner, if you're not yet familiar with the layout. And um, the higher section and the appendage has um, is crowded with um, insulated material. And then once that's done, they'll put the waterproof membrane on. And it'll be interesting to see if there'll be any uh, bases for those AC units that you see in the background. the This highest wall where the stamp stamping machines are is two-tone. Those are the uh, narrow wall panels um, on, that have been uh, um, attached. And at the bottom there, you can see um, some raw material, some, some of those raw uh, wall panels waiting to be installed. And so, I would say not much more than a week. Certainly in two weeks, this 
whole building will be enclosed and the wall panels will be done. A little aside as I ran into a BZI employee, and if you're not familiar, BZI is an amazing company that partnered with Tesla to, on the construction of this building. And um, I ran into a young man who recently passed his training and was working. Um, I ran into him at the Courtyard Marriott nearby as I was waiting to uh, go to the Redwood Materials event later that evening and uh, chatted with him for a while. And he said they've moved up to uh, Switch, which is a giant server um, farm compute um, location up the road on um, USA Parkway in the Tahoe Reno Industrial Center trick which is expanding amazingly and one of the reasons is um, as was mentioned by the uh, Redwood Materials uh, tour guide one of the big reasons is permitting, the ease of and speed with of permitting, server farms and AI compute cannot wait. And um, this is a very permit-friendly, expedited approval county, Story County, where, where Trick is located. The two other, in, the two other factors cited are the, the climate. You have mild, cool climates, about nine months of the year, three months of the year at the the high desert of Nevada gets a little toasty. Um, and the other is cheap energy, either directly from the grid, which is a large percentage of that is um, renewable, not 50%, but a good percentage of it. In addition, if any companies like Tesla and the Apple server farm nearby want to, they can install a lot of solar, not wind. It's not suitable. This area is not suitable for wind, despite, despite or because of the high winds that uh, that frequent the area. The here we have um, one of the highlights of this video, or in addition to the paving, is the uh, work uh, that is continuing at the uh, semi megacharger location here. And there were forms last time we saw, last time we, we visited, and those forms have been removed. There's light posts there, and then there's bases for the chargers themselves, and there's bases for the cabinets that will feed it. And um, I expect that this will be done in a few weeks, at least the preparation, and then if they have the, the uh, cabinets and the chargers available, once those get brought in and installed and the paving completed around here, which should be soon, I expect to see um, the semi-engineering and uh, the Tesla semi-engineering and production units charging down here because um, I can imagine that the three-stall mega charger up at the um, Legacy Giga Gigafactory, Nevada, GF1 is uh, likely to get pretty crowded at times with all of the production and engineering uh, Tesla semis having to share those those uh, those few chargers. So we'll see. I can't wait to see even before as the factory is starting to be built out. I expect to see Tesla semis charging here. And we know they're staging the, gr the gr Gross um, automated equipment and from Germany. And that video got a lot of traction last week. And uh, can't wait to catch them bringing those in, and um, which will be evidence that the uh, serious installation of the uh, Tesla semi production lines is underway. Thank you, and I will continue to provide coverage as long as you guys and gals are interested. Thank you. Appreciate your support.